So Marcus, when people approach you and ask you, I want to become a service designer or I want to become a better service designer, what is the ultimate tip you give them? Okay, um, could I give you a two-part answer on that? Let's go. <laughs> okay, first one, yeah, two, first part one, um, it's a bit of a cliche, but it's very true, it's um, empathy. At the end of the day, you have to be able to put your shoes in, you know, yourself into the shoes of the user. And I talked quite a lot on the show about um, cultural sensitivity, about being able to put yourself into a culture other than your own or into a role other than your own. Ultimately, if you can't do that, I would say that is the fundamental part of service design. Part two, <laughs> be channel agnostic. I know digital is important and there's still a lot more to be done in the digital world and it's changing constantly, but we can't live from the neck up. We are not just our everything from the neck up. It's not just eyes and ears. We have a physical body, we get hungry, we get horny, we are human beings, okay? So we have physical needs and we have emotions as well. And therefore we live in the physical world as well. So I think the magic comes in combining that acknowledgement of what could be done in a digital way but within the physical context.